Hey, data scientists, data engineers, folks who are interested in software engineering, I am back with another video in the Rust series, Introduction to Rust, First Steps. Uh, I'm not going through the basic syntax of Rust. What I am doing is using this Rustlings course uh, to run through uh, compile errors with Rust programs, and then just by doing Rust, that's how I'm going to learn Rust. So. If you want to follow along in these videos, I am just following along in this course until I get a little bit better at Rust, and then maybe after that we'll be building something with it. So stick around if that interests you, and let's dive back into Rust. Okay, so if you've been following along and you have Rust and the Rustling cor Rustlings course installed, what you can do is type Rustlings Watch, and then um, this this program essentially will run through and compile all of the exercises that we've succeeded at. You can see that we've done the variables theme exercises, and now we are into a compiling error in the if.1 um, exercise. So let's go over to that folder, and we can see here that this is the next um, challenge that we have to solve. So this looks like a public function bigger, complete this function to return the bigger number, do not use return, another function call, additional variables, and you can scroll down for hints in these, uh, in this course, which is just really well made. So in Python, uh, I'm more of a Python person, this would be A if A is greater than B, else B. So uh, we don't need to surround it by parentheses, if else conditionals are expressions, each condition is followed by a parentheses block. So let's try and complete this function in Rust. Okay, so we're trying to figure out, we're trying to write a complete this function. We don't want to use return. We don't want to call another function. Uh, we don't want to use additional variables. Okay. So let's see, we don't want to use additional variables. Uh, that's how I was going to do it. Um, so let's do this. If A is greater than B, then A, um, else if um, A less than B, uh, B, else, a. So uh, in Rust, uh, you don't need a return statement. There are implicit returns. Um, this, I believe, is a perfectly valid statement. We're just returning A or B or A. And you could see that it actually successfully compiled and passed uh, the test. So let's put some errors in our logic here. And it's running the test down here. And you can see that uh, we had one pass, one failed. And so the test 42 is bigger than 32. Obviously, that's not right. And we could see that we had an issue in our logic if we were to make that kind of function. But this is apparently a very valid, very simple Rust function. And it passes the test. So now we can move on to exercise functions here. By the way, that took me a little while to figure out not having a return. Um, that was kind of difficult. Okay, so make, make, compile, scroll down for hints. So what is wrong here? Cannot find function call me in the scope. So main is calling a function that expects to exist. It doesn't exist. Call me. So sounds like a lot like main, doesn't it? Okay, right. So we need a function called call me. Uh, so I guess we can declare a function called call me. That does nothing. Let's see if that compiles. Uh, 
All right, so that actually compiles just making a function called call me in the scope. So I suppose that's all they wanted. All right, so now we're on functions two. So call me input num uh, for i in the range zero to num print ring calling number i uh, plus one. So let's see, what is this? Rust requires that all parts of function signature have type annotation, but call me is missing the type annotation of num. Okay, so we need a type annotation on the input variable. So we have to follow this kind of syntax. Uh, I'm gonna assume num is going to be, well, we'll make it that type. And function two failed, compile error, unclosed delimiter. Of course, you need to close your parentheses. Uh, da, 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 da. Function takes one parameter, but zero parameters were supplied. Call me, this is an, oh, function three. So function two successfully called. When, <clears throat> One of the problems with these tests is I just don't know when they pass. Okay, so now uh, this looks right. Okay, so this is function three. What's happening here? This time the function declaration is okay, but there's something wrong with the place where we're calling the function from. Okay, why is that? So if I put in a thousand there, does that fix it? Failed to compile function. Uh, so function three, we just needed to actually call it with a variable. Okay, so this store is having a sale where if the price is an even number, you get ten off. But if it's odd, it's three money unit less. Okay. So let original price is fifty one. Your sale price is original price. So sale price i thirty two. If it's even, then it's price minus 10, else it's price minus three. Okay, so I think what we do is minus equals here. Minus equals. Let's see if that will compile. Function four failed, aborting due to previous error. Oh, well, price. So what's the issue with this? Error message points to line 12, and it says it expects a type after that. Take a look that even is, okay. Uh, I see, I see. Okay, so we don't need the minus equals there, but we do need... I don't believe this can be negative. I think we need a different type. Oh, returns a Boolean. Hmm. Is even function for an example. Okay. Oh, we don't say what kind of type that we are returning. That is the error. Okay, so function four successfully compiled. All right, so let's see function five. So make me compile, scroll down for hints. So let answer is the square of three square number i32 returns integer 32 and it's number times number okay so what is the error this function's body doesn't return why doesn't it return number times number so why wouldn't that return? 
consider removing this semicolon. Okay, so let's try that. We're getting some help from Rust. So it successfully compiled. And the next failure that we're having is test one. All right, so I'm gonna leave that to the next video, uh, but we we moved our way through the if and then all of the functions here. So we are moving and we'll dive into this test, uh, test uh, folder next. And so there's readme is also in these, these file, uh, <clears throat> in these directories about writing tests and different things. Uh, again, a great resource. We'll cover more in the next video, uh, in this, uh, series, I suppose, on learning Rust. I'll catch you later.